If you want longer natural hair, or if your goal is to really improve the health of your hair and scalp, knowledge is power. That's why today's video is all about the hair growth cycle. From new growth to shedding, the hair on our scalp goes through four different stages, anagen, catagen, telogen, and exogen. It's important to note that all of our hair follicles are not in the same stage at once, and I'll go over this throughout the video. Many people are familiar with the anagen stage. When our hair is in anagen, this is when we experience hair growth. On a healthy scalp, about 90% of our hairs are in anagen at a given time. The average person who has a healthy scalp grows about half an inch a month or about six inches in a year, and our hair follicles that are in anagen usually stay in this stage for about four to six years. So we can experience a very long growth period with our hair if we have a healthy scalp. But of course, we don't always see this length depending on how we care for our hair. Whether it's due to a haircut, whether it's due to breakage, split ends, heat damage, or chemical damage, our hair doesn't always retain the length that we grow from our scalp. I like to think of this as external factors. It doesn't mean that our hair isn't growing. It just means that we aren't retaining length. Many of you have probably heard the myth that trimming your ends makes your hair grow faster, but this is false as your hair grows out of follicles in your scalp. But trimming your damaged ends, for example, if your ends are split, is beneficial because it'll help that hair to not continue to split up your hair shaft and so that you can have healthier hair. So when your ends are not broken and when they're healthy, this means that your hair can continue to retain the length that you're growing from your scalp, which is why protecting your ends and taking care of the health of your hair externally is just as important as your internal diet. Some internal factors could be impacting your hair growth cycle. Pattern male and female hair loss, also known as androgenic alopecia, is the body's excessive response to pre-existing hormones in the body known as androgens. An androgen known as DHT, which stands for dihydrotestosterone, can impact our anagen phase of our hair growth cycle. But so can stress, poor diet, aging, and vitamin and mineral deficiencies. But I'm not telling you all this to be the bearer of bad news. In nature, I believe that there's always a way. If you're currently suffering from thinning hair or baldness, olive oil can be your first step in the right direction as it naturally decreases DHT. For years, I've used olive oil in my deep conditioners, my hair oils, and I even cook with it. If stress is your issue, I pray that you're able to identify and remedy whatever is causing you stress. I know that heating pads and massages have definitely also gone a long way for me, so definitely kick up your self-care if you feel like that you're experiencing hair loss due to stressors in your life. In addition to those things, applying Brahmi to your scalp can be very beneficial. It reduces hair fall, it thickens the hair, and it contains alkaloids, which are known to manage stress. And you can get these benefits just by applying the product topically on your head. I do already have a video on my channel going over how you can mix Brahmi powder into a hair oil and as a hair mask. I'll leave that video in the cards and also down in the description box. I also incorporate Brahmi and olive oil into my DIY extreme hair oil because I'm trying to reach waist length by the end of the year, close to January. So definitely subscribe to my channel and follow along my hair growth series playlist if you're interested in reaching your hair goals as well. That was a ton of information, but just to recap, anagen is the very first stage of the hair growth cycle. And this is when we experience actual hair growth and this lasts about four to six years. The second stage of the hair growth cycle is known as catagen. All of our hair strands are attached beneath our scalp and connected to blood vessels that provide oxygen and nutrients that's essential for our hair to grow and to be healthy. Naturally, in the catagen stage, our hair detaches from these blood vessels in the dermal papilla, which means that our hair is no longer receiving that oxygen and those nutrients, as I just mentioned. So now in the catagen phase, our hair begins to start its rest period. Our hair stops growing. And this period lasts about two weeks and only about 1% of our hairs are in the catagen phase on a healthy scalp at a given time. The second stage is definitely preemptive of the third stage, which is known as telogen, and our hair is in an active rest period for about three months. During this time, all of the hair follicles that are in the telogen phase 
do not grow whatsoever. They're not connected to any blood or nutrients. So they're just going to stay there and rest and wait for the cycle to start again. When your hair is in this rest stage, some of your hairs will naturally shed. You'll know that your hair is shedding if you lose hairs that are about the length of your entire hair strand. Usually when you shed hair, you can actually see a white little bulb or like the top of our follicle attached to it. This is natural um, and it's gonna happen, unfortunately. We're gonna lose hairs. It's just the way that our bodies were, were made and created, which is beautifully. If you lose a shorter strand or a smaller piece, it's most likely not shedding and it's most likely breakage. The shedding stage is officially called exogen, which is kind of looped into the last three stages with the hair detaching from the blood vessels and the dermal papilla being in that waiting season and then finally releasing. Only about five to 10 of our overall hair follicles on a healthy scalp are in the telogen and exogen phases at a given time. But once this three month period is over, y'all, joy comes in the morning. For the follicles that release shed hair and for the hair strands that we lost on healthy scalps, new hairs start to grow into those exact same follicles and the antigen phase restarts. And for those hairs that didn't shed, they are reconnected to the blood vessels and once again provided those nutrients and our hair can grow on and on and on. If you're finding this video helpful or informative, please do give it a big thumbs up like, comment, subscribe, you know, leave me any questions that you have down below. Um, I'm really focused on creating helpful hair content for all of my natural hair girlies, especially my type four girlies. We're in it together. I do have a hair growth playlist on my channel. So if you're interested on more ways that you can increase the health of your hair and scalp, do check out that series. It's something that I'm gonna continue to do for a good little while. My next hair video will still be focused on the scalp it's gonna be all about scalp massages for hair growth and how you can keep those blood vessels connected to your hair follicles for longer so that you can optimize your hair growth cycle. I'm gonna provide two detailed methods for massaging your scalp that you've probably never heard of um, and that I've been finding very useful. Um, as you all can see, these mini twists, y'all, y'all, these mini twists, are growing out and that's due to the different practices that I have such as scalp massages and my DIY hair oil. So definitely stay tuned if you're looking to get longer hair or reach your hair goal. Thank you all so much for watching. Be blessed, stay hydrated, be productive y'all. Peace out.